Hello and welcome to Pokédex, the channel where I build decks for the Pokémon trading card game. I guess by looking at this list you guys can already see what's going on here. I've been thinking a little bit about Executor. Um, this guy's pretty cool, he's been, sh been shown in a lot of winning deck lists um, for the past couple weeks, and for good reason. It turns out the deck is actually pretty good. It locks out the, the supporters uh, instead of the items, so it's kind of like attacks in a different angle than Seismito, the Seismito does, but it's also a lock deck, so if you can get Executor going pretty quickly, I guess the opponent is kind of locked out and they can't do anything about it. So yeah, pretty cool Pokemon. I've actually been thinking about playing this guy in other types of deck, decks, sorry. Um, but I kind of feel like the deck already has to want the executes in the executes in there at least. So I'm looking at decks that um, have battle compressors or use executes as engines, and I decided to play this in a Flareon build. So if nothing else, Executor serves as a way to a Pokemon to discard for damaging uh, pump on Flareon. So at least it's in the discard pile it increases the damage that Flareon is doing. So in the, the Flareon deck, I don't think I want to ever be playing it with less than 22 Pokemon. I feel like that's like the sweet spot, sweet number of Pokemon to play. Um, so why not take out some Ditto's and all that and try Execute or Executor. So I also took out the Leafeons because I don't think that's a great uh, Seismitoad counter anymore, because I don't know, if we're playing against, for example, Seismitoad Slurpuff, they can just drop a single double colorless energy, never play a, another energy again unless they really need to, and the Lithion, unless it has the, the Silver Bangle already on it, it's only going to be dealing, uh, so one, two, yeah, 80 damage, that's a three hit knockout, so that's not great. Um, that's not what you want from a tech that totally destroys the opponent, I guess. So I would actually use Executor, I think it's nicer in that matchup. And sometimes we can also eat other decks, so that's what I'm going for here. I'm going to try this out, see if it actually works. Let's start looking into the, the deck, starting with the first Pokémon here, Odino. It has Busy Body, which, which allows us to discard it from our hand, to heal and uh, remove special conditions from the active Pokémon. And also, of course, increase the damage on the, the Flareon. We have a 2-2 Slurpuff line, mostly because it's card draw in Pokémon form. So, also allows us to increase the damage on the Flareon, but at the same time allows us to draw cards. And because I'm not playing the um, Empoleon tech in here, um, I guess that we also needed extra draw, and Slurpuff fits that bill. Most of the times we won't be able to grab the both slurpuffs on the um, on the bench but sometimes we do and that's pretty cool there's a 4-4 four, four, uh, flarian line because it's the main attacker of the deck and then there's a 3-3 three, three executor line for the reasons that i already talked about execute on the early game if nothing else is a card advantage engine for our ultra balls and all that so works pretty well then we get it back and drop an executor on it we are still playing one Jirashi X for obvious reasons, grabbing supporters, a pretty cool ability. And it's also a Pokemon that we can discard. Then we start looking at the items. We have Acrobikes in here, four of them, so that we can draw a card and discard another one from the top of our deck, uh, hopefully a Pokemon. There's four Battle Compressors, because it's the engine of the deck. Discard the Pokemon, they discard the um, some... Uh, supporters that we can then grab back with first seeker. I'm going to look at that in a second. Computer search because it's the best setup card. Also allows us to discard stuff. To switch, I really like switching this deck just so that we don't discard energy in order to retreat. Three Ultra Ball grabs us Pokemon, discards Pokemon from our hand. Pretty cool. And the four versus Seeker that I just talked about because it's really good with Battle Compressor and Acro Bike because uh, they help us discard cards. And then we have uh, one Lysander to catch Pokemon from the bench. One Lysander Strump card to shuffle everything back, because sometimes we get to the point where we're going to lose if we don't. I'm playing 2N, because I really want to punish the opponents. I guess most of these decks, the Night March and the Flareons, only play one. But I really like having two. Sometimes the opponent is not... I, I've won a lot of games against those decks where I, I knew... I was item locking them and they couldn't play the Versus Seeker and the end was in the discard pile, so I knew I wasn't going to get punished. So sometimes I, I, I feel like having an extra end really helps. Then we have four Seekamore, which also allows us to discard and draw seven cards, so you can discard the Pokemon and <laughs> draw a fresh new hand. 
For muscle band, I really find them important to uh, build up executor, or else it's only dealing 10 damage a turn, that's not great. And at the same time, it bumps the Flareon up, so it's like having two extra Pokémon in the discard pile, so it's pretty cool for a tool. I'm playing four double colossus energy, obviously, and four fire energy. We can actually play fire energy in the Flareon deck, believe it or not. So we can actually use this EV with energy evolution and uh, go for the Flareon in our deck. And we can also do something funny like having two EVs out and then just playing one fire energy and grabbing the Flareon. And then you play the second uh, fire energy on the, on the other EV and have the Flareon so that we have two uh, attackers ready to go. So let's try this baby out. I've actually played a couple of games of it, and the deck is decent. I hope we can find a match where we show off the executor plan, slowing down our opponent while we build the Flareons in the bench. I also hope we find a match soon, because I don't really want to make this video extra long, and these matches tend to go a little longer, so especially when we are item locking the opponent or not item locking supporter locking sorry <laughs> if i mistakenly mistakenly say item lock instead of supporter lock so we see a straight up psychic deck so i'm expecting bats from our opponent and is also uh at least level 1 uh psychic player because he has the sleeves there maybe he's also going for the third level, so he has the the bat without the ability, which cannot retreat for free. Here, I guess I'll go for the acrobike, digging deeper. We have a battle compressor. I'm pretty happy to grab that because we have the versus seeker in our hand. And another acrobike, and we get a sycamore and another battle compressor. So I guess I'll go for both battle compressors. Discard a lot of Pokemon and okay, let's grab the executors because they look awesome in the discard pile. Alright, let's grab Odinos, because they don't look awesome in here, I don't think the opponent is playing lasers, and I'm cool with that for now, and then just battle compressor, something else, like extra Pokemon, I guess I can go for an exec, no, oh, no, not really, I'd like to grab the executors after I have, so I'm going for the Lysander into Odinos, I like that, I'm going to put this thing down, but I think I'm actually, I think I can go for the executor here, actually, and put the muscle band on there, yeah, I got like that. Just go for the Sycamore. The opponent already knows something. The jig is up, so I guess we could... Okay, so we kind of have to get a little lucky next turn. Um, I don't want to evolve that Eevee, so I'm going to play the Battle Compressor again. And just discard an N. Uh, I don't know what else. Let's see how many slurp offs we have. What's the slurp off line look like? So we have an extra slurp off that we can discard. Don't want to discard anything else, I guess. So yeah, I'm just going to pass the turn. Um, not do anything else there, and just yes, I'll, I'll play the energy down on executor. Execute, I mean, because then I can evolve safely the Eevee, and even if I don't choose to attack with it. Um, I can retreat and go to town with a executor. So the opponent already knows what's going on. He knows the executor is coming. I like to use that as a surprise thing, but okay, he fails the the flip, so he's not retreating. I guess. It's, yeah, kind of lame that the opponent is using this guy instead of the really good one. Guess we can play the end here, save some supporters. Okay, we draw the executors and we also draw the computer search. So we can actually we can actually grab something here like the switch and start locking our opponent out of items. I think that's going to be cool. So let's just bring these dudes back and go for a switch. Because next turn we can just draw everything back with a sycamore. So I really like this. I'm going to blockade here. 30 damage. Not great, but <laughs> good luck getting out of this. The opponent did not play anything except for the energy after he played the supporter. So maybe he has the um, Zubats, which allow him... Yeah, he does. So The Golbat, I mean. Sorry, not the Zubat. So. 
uh, Wobbuffet is actually going to be doing some damage here, but I'm going to try to support her lock him for as long as I can. Actually, I'm not going to do that this turn, I'm just going to... Oh yeah, I can't bring the e executes over, so I'm just going to seek her more. Play the second Flareon, and play this energy over there. And... Let's see what we have in our deck left, so... One versus Seeker, two, okay, I'm feeling pretty cool, so we can bring them back. So I guess I can discard Fire Energy, I guess. I think I need it, actually. I also don't think I need a second Flare, and actually, uh, I don't know. Maybe I just play this Energy there, I don't know, let's just grab an Acro Bike, I guess. Alright, um, going for the Eevee here, going to put this energy down in the following turn, and just keep locking our opponent, slowing down his game. 30 extra damage coming, I don't think they're going for the Execute, yeah, they go on the Flareon, makes sense. The opponent buys stuff back. And 60 damage on the Executor, knocking it out. I guess maybe shouldn't have gone with this dude. I don't know. I don't care. Um, we do have this versus Seeker, but I can't play it now. So I'm just going to hold on to it. Oh yeah, and I can't evolve the Eevee. But it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to do this. can bring an N back and use it. Or I can just Lysander out the Zubat and knock it out. Yeah, I think I'm going for that, actually. I think that's going to look better. Alright, Vengeance. Maybe should have gone for the um, do that already has the energy, but I don't know. Feels like I want to stop my opponent from doing damage to my benched guys. Oh, he goes with the other Wobbuffet, okay. And he plays an, a new Zubat. And a, a Shauna, <laughs> not the greatest supporter, but... Don't really mind that, I cannot seek him more here, or else I would die. So he'll just start slapping his dudes around. Now we can actually use the Versus Seeker, if we actually have extra draw in our hand. So I'm not going to do that now, because we would be left without attackers. So he's going to kill our Flareon here, but he's going to die to the second Flareon, so don't really mind that at all. Alright, 20 damage going on the, this Flareon, I guess. Don't really feel like anning, although he's going down to four. Yeah, but he only has one card in hand, so. Uh, uh, uh. Swirlix, go down, going down. So we have both Slurpuffs over there. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Vengeance. I'll keep playing Vengeance. <laughs> this guarantees us that the other Flareon is coming on the offensive, so he's going to kill this one now. And I'm getting rid of all of his dudes right here, so... I guess I'm going to wait for the next turn to shuffle everything back. Okay, Sycamore. And he plays it, alright. Scoop up fails. Pretty happy with that. He switches into Zubat, so I'm going to grab a nice little kill over there. So I guess I, this is the turn I go for the. I can. Well, I can actually win the game, right? I can grab the Mewtwo EX, so yeah. Guess I'm going for that. Bam. 180 damage. We win the game. So, I guess this game, Executor, wasn't really the most uh, useful thing ever, but it helped to slow down the opponent on the early game and 
we got to a, to this point where we have like three Flareons ready to go, three attackers, so the opponent was not taking two prizes, he's only taking one from the Flareon, so that's pretty cool. And I kind of feel like there's some games where the um, Executor line can just uh, win the game out of nowhere, so if we can get it going really quickly, uh, we can just lock the opponent out of supporters, and they might be stuck with a with a terrible hand for the rest of the game. So that's what we're going for here. Hopefully we don't lose too much by taking out the Leafions and the Ditos. So tell me what you guys think about this approach. Tell me if you agree with it. Um, test it out if you guys want. And tell me how, how it went in the comments below. So until then, see you guys next time. Bye.